some Steve Bannon folks I can't tell you how much uh, Steve Bannon just really I think is one of the loudest voices in the MAGA movement uh, just trying to get the truth out there about what's going on with the deep state him and Alex Jones and Charlie Kirk and there's several out there that are just really um, making a difference uh, get, getting the message out there and uh, those are the ones that are being um, being attacked of course uh, by the left and uh, that's why one of the reasons uh, Steve is Steve Bannon is headed for jail here directly, uh, but he's still getting out there each and every day, uh, just trying to get the truth out there because he's fighting for this country. Like he said, he'll, he'll fight for this country uh, even behind bars if he has to. Uh, everybody have a great day. Uh, enjoy this video. Under no circumstances can they have the Trump, the Trump administration take back over. They can't have MAGA rule the country. They don't care about this election. They don't care how many votes we get. They're going to fight us every step of the way. Look, it's between now and November 5th. And what Charlie and the team here and you guys go through these workshops and get out the vote and chase the ballots and voter integrity is everything. But just winning in November is just the first step. And most importantly, he's got to seal the southern border and we got to start the deportation of 10 to 15 million new That's the three big things, but trust me, on the afternoon of the 20th, we're also going to start the pick and shovel work to take apart the administrative state and to take on its rogue element, the Praetorian Guard, the deep state. We're going to run them all out of town. And hey, hey, Merrick Garland, Merrick Garland, let me, let me give you a heads up, bro. You're not going to be able to have your Department of Justice send a memo and say, oh, he shouldn't be prosecuted, and then have Department of Justice say, oh, well, I'm not going to prosecute myself, right? For holding back the tapes that we know show the lies of Joe Biden, the treason of Joe Biden, and how unfeeble he is. After that, it's not the tapes. We're coming after Lisa Monaco, Merrick Garland, the senior members of DOJ that have prosecuted President Trump. Jack and this is not about vengeance, this is not about revenge, this is not about retribution. This is about saving this republic. We're going to use the Constitution. We're going to use the Constitution. We're going to use the Constitution in the rule of law to go after you and hold you accountable. November 5th is Judgment Day. January 20th, 2025 was Accountability Day. Y'all hear that, folks? Judgment Day, Accountability Day. I can't wait. And now he's fixing to get into who's actually going to get held accountable. woo I love it, I love it. Now, uh, if you don't know, uh, Steve Bannon was one of Trump's chief strategists uh, during the Trump administration. And is still in Trump's inner circle, so I'm not really worried about uh, Steve Bannon going uh, to prison. I think uh, all that will be rendered um, mute pretty uh, quickly. Uh, I hate to say that they are going to lock Steve Bannon up, which is probably only helping uh, people uh, with their resolve on whether they decide they're going to vote for Trump or not. The more uh, the people in Trump's inner circle are prosecuted, including Trump. Uh, the more the American people are turning on the left of uh, the Democrat Party. And that's just what I have to believe. Now let's get back into this thing. 
Here we go. We got Steve Bannon breaking it on down how it's going to go with the prosecution. I love it. I love it. Let me tell the people that have done that to President Trump, whether you're in the federal government or whether you're down in the state of Georgia or you're in Arizona or you're in Michigan. We are going to go and we're going to get every single deceit into the fullest extension of the law. You are going to be uh, investigated, prosecuted, and incarcerated. Okay? We are not going to stop. This has nothing to do with retribution. It has nothing to do with revenge. Because retribution and revenge might be another order of magnitude. This has to do with justice. That's right. We've got to go back to the beginning. We've got to go back to Russiagate. We got to go back to who did that. We got to go back to Mola's commission. We got to go back to Andrew Weissman and MSNBC and the New York Times and all of it. Right? They stole it from you. We got to go back there. We've got to go back. We've got to go back to the pandemic. We have to go back to the George Floyd summer of love. We have to investigate it all. We have to go back. We have to go back to 3 November of 2020. We must go back there. And we've got to adjudicate how they stole it and who stole it. That's right. And then, and then, and then we have to go. We have to go to January 6th. And we have to find out every FBI agent, all the CIA, DHS, Chris Ray, all of them. The Fed's direction must be investigated. Folks, uh, that's all I got for you here. A full interview or a full um, episode is on Forbes, like I said. Um, Steve Bannon lights up the crowd. He says some things that are just not real YouTube friendly. Forbes can play it because uh, they play the full thing. Let me cutting it into clips and having an opinion about it myself. Uh, it's a little sketchy. Uh, but, but at any rate, um, he's absolutely right. Um, people are waking up. Uh, we're tired of this crap. We're going to take our country back. Those people are going to be held accountable. We're going to have to start open investigations or continue investigations that the Congress has already started and hold these people accountable. That's the name of the game at this point, folks. And uh, that is the best part of the speech for me, holding people accountable. I can't wait uh, to see what happens, uh, just to see how this plays out. That sounds like uh, as much as I want to see Trump get back in office, I want to see justice. Uh, I know you're, you feel the same way, folks. Let me know in the comment section uh, what you think about Steve Bannon and uh, his incarceration. And then January 6th prisoners getting out of jail uh, can come January 20th, 2025. That sounds like a wonderful plan. I love it. I love it. Like, subscribe, and share. Voted Patriots. Over and out.